Orlok on a glorious morning makes me sick. My lucky rat tail. Today is Monday, October 17th. I cannot contain my excitement. I, if you guys know me, I am obsessed with The Karate Kid. I love that movie. It is near and dear to my heart. And my parents got me tickets to see Ralph Macchio in New York City at the Barnes & Noble at Union Square, I believe it is. And I don't even know how to act like I cannot contain my excitement like you get um it was like $30 to do a meet and greet so you get a copy of his book a free copy of his book he autographs it and you get a photo with him um they said that you have to wear a mask in line but I was like do you need a mask for the photo because I think that would be kind of stupid and I don't want to wear a mask for the photo but I see that he did a lot of other meet and greets and people were not wearing masks to take the photo. So I hope that, you know, that happens because I'm finally meeting Ralph, like the Karate Kid himself. And I love that movie, like I said. I mean, I don't even need to explain. Like, I can't even explain to you how much I love that movie. Like, I don't think anybody would understand. Like, it's just, I love it so much. So I made him some things. Um, I painted this box. I'm not an artist. I messed up there a little bit because I had the wrong paintbrush. Um, and he was also in the Outsiders. So I made this ornament for him. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see it better. So, one second. Okay, so I painted this box for him. He could put whatever he wants inside. And that's just the bottom. Um, this came like that, so yeah. So anyway, I had this made for a while. It was sitting on my desk and it's the outsiders. And I put like this gold rose inside and some confetti. I'm going to put the ornament in here to make it look prettier. And then I wrote him a little card and I did my nails last night. I actually had to touch it up and like clean it up a bit because I did my nails really late and then I just went to bed. But that's the nails so excited i had to touch up the one part i was painting my nails and it's kind of dark so i missed that one spot so i just gotta do that okay so i just wanted to show that to you guys before i wrapped his gift because i wanted to show you guys what i made for ralph um i'm so excited i don't even know like i didn't even know what i want to say that never happened before because when i meet celebrities like i'm always like hi you know and i just like say something but like this is ralph like ralph the karate kid somebody from the 80s from a movie that is so close to my heart like I don't even know what to say like I don't even know how it's going to go like I just I don't even see I'm so excited my siblings also got tickets as well so they're going to be seeing him as well but um I'm so excited it's going to be a family trip out uh, my parents are just gonna drop us off like in front of the Barnes and Noble and just get like parking my hair has to get done. I don't know if I want to straighten this or uh, curl it, but I washed it last night. I did my nails. I have to. I have an outfit picked out. Um, my sisters want to dress fancy. I do too, but at the same time, like I really want to wear the Karate Kid shirt with him and Miyagi on it, and then Johnny and him at the tournament on the bottom. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you're a real one. But yeah, I want to wear that with my like black corduroys, my docks. Um, and a jean jacket, like greaser vibes, because I that, like that's kind of my style to be honest. I mean, I, I have different styles, but I mean, I like to dress like that as well. So I don't know what to do. And I also want to bake brownies today. I want to make pook brownies from Hocus Pocus. Um, I had to touch up my nails, wrap his gift, and then just try my outfit. So that's how my day is gonna go. It's basically just a prep day. So tomorrow's the day, and I will see you guys then. Good morning, my loves. Today is Tuesday, October 18th. I am all ready to go see Ralph himself, the Karate Kid, Maruso, Team Miyagi-Do all the way, forever and always. I'm so excited. I'm wearing this shirt and my black corduroys and the bandana. Oh my gosh, my sister pulled my hair for me. Look, 
I wore my earrings for a bit make it bloom, my glasses earrings. I didn't put my lipstick on because I had to hurry up and eat breakfast. And then I had to lock my shoes because, <clears throat> well, my voice just gave up for a second. Yeah, we will be home, so it's a family trip. Like I said, but I'm super stoked, like you don't understand. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can when I get to New York City. Um, our event starts at 7 o'clock. But we had to be there by 6.30 to check in. They're gonna give us, well, they had to scan our tickets, give us our free copy of the book. Then they're gonna put us in the queue to meet, well, I don't even know how to ask. But um, yeah, so that's how that came to go. The event was so popular, they added a different time slot for six o'clock, but that's obviously before my time. So those people have to line up at 5.30 together for six and we have to be there at 6 30 for seven they literally added that in last minute and i was so confused i'm like wait do we have to be there for 5 30 because wow it's gonna take us a little bit to get there because we live in pennsylvania so it's like four hours so we don't want to be late so we're gonna try to leave here by like 11 30 the latest so, i mean i just want to cater for traffic because we want to be safe rather than sorry because we don't want that but i have to go eat some breakfast now and then i will put on my lipstick i'm wearing my mud boots with this outfit um it's really cool because it's like 50 degrees so i have to get a jacket as well so i will try to vlog as much as i can when i get out here i will be with my family so um like i said i'll try to vlog as much as i can so i will catch up with you guys later something so we killed some time we got some food and everything i have ralph's gift and i'm in the line and it's so long it's right around the corner they actually my time is seven o'clock and i have to check in for set um 6 30 but they added another meet and greet before hours for some reason which is a little weird because we had it first and that one is they have to check in at 5 30 and go for six but the line is getting really long and I feel like it's gonna go into 6.30 so my siblings and I just like, our parents parked like literally right near the line and we just hopped out, we were eating pizza in the car and I fixed my lipstick and everything and I'm just so really excited I'm not even speaking properly, I don't care, Ralph is in there and people are coming out it looks like it's going pretty quickly so I'm really excited, I can't wait so I don't think I can vlog in there, I will try I don't know what I can get for you guys but hopefully I can get something because that'd be awesome so I'll see you guys when I get inside Okay, so we've made it. We're like almost at the door. Like there's maybe what, like 30 people in front of us or something. <laughs> yeah. But we've been out in the freezing cold for a long time. Um, I'm taking off my coat for the photo. I hope that like as usual, you know how meet and greets go. The rules are not always followed when they tell you the rules. It doesn't go that way. And um, I hope I can actually give him my gift in person. My hands are so numb. I'm trying really to keep them warm. Yeah, my poor parents have been waiting in the car the whole time for all four of us. Um, but we're like really close, like really close. My siblings are letting me go first because, you know. Hi! <laughs> and um, I'm gonna like see, hopefully my sister could be close enough that she could like record me with him. Um, I just, I just can't wait. I'm so excited. But it's dark. It's dark now. You can't really tell. But the city looks so pretty. It's freezing, but this is totally worth it. I can't believe. I'm so excited. Everyone was like asking us we were, what we're in line for and we're like Ralph Macho and they're like and I'm like the karate kid so then I'm like and then they're like oh I know what you're talking about so yeah I'm just waiting in line freezing but it's totally worth it I hope that I can vlog when I get inside and like show you guys oh, I'm so excited okay I'll be back guys we're inside Ralph is back there somewhere i can't see him but i'm shaking i'm so cold from being out here but i took off my coat and everything because i am so ready to see him um they said they were going to collect gifts prior to the line but um no one took my gift so i guess i'm just going to give it to him in person i prefer to do that anyway but I don't, I don't even know like i just don't know how this is gonna go like i hope we have to, have to speak to him because like you guys know what the party kid means to me and uh, i i i can't even speak I'm just like staring up there, I can't see. I, I can't believe I'm gonna see Ralph. Oh my 
gosh. I don't know what to say. I don't know. I can't stop smiling. Where is he? I can't see him. Oh my gosh. I mean, a lot of people walked away and no one's smiling or anything. So I was like, did it go well? Is that That's not real. I can't see. I can't see. I'm too short. Um, I'll try to get whatever footage I can. If I can, I'll try. Okay guys, do you see him? Ralph is right there, I'm so close. Wait, that lady's head's in the way. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Um, so just have your camera prepped and ready. You're gonna pass it right over there. She's gonna take this photo for you. Thank you. Thank you. and I, we just saw Ralph flying in here because I don't know if they're getting ready to close or whatever. I'm like shaking. He kept talking to me and I didn't even, I, I was talking to him. I was like, is this even real? And he was like, Sam. And I was like, yes, because I have the same name as his daughter in the, the show. And then uh, my brother was talking to him. and he called me Brian son. That was amazing. I think he called me Samantha son, but then again, <laughs> I was so starstruck. I, I don't even remember, but I'll, my sister recorded it. And so. I bowed too. Which and he said he loves my attire <laughs> and he loves everything. No, I don't even know what to say. And um, they said they were going to go for it. They took two photos, so I was like, I'm framing that when I get home. <laughs> I'm going, to, I'm going to frame it. It's going to go on my wall. Like I don't even know what to say. Like I just don't. He is so nice. He's just like his character. I was so right. Like he's so humble and nice. Um, his bodyguard walked by. Other women, my sisters were in there talking about it. It was kind of funny. Um, there's a Starbucks in here. I don't know if it's still open. But we want to get that and then we had to go because our parents our poor parents were waiting in the car the whole time right here the phone like but yeah so excited i don't even know what to say that was amazing like i'm so sorry i couldn't vlog that much but um really crowded and the security was really strict which is a good thing though because we got to be safe as well so just waiting for my sisters in the bathroom and i think we are going to head out guys that's his family going up the elevator and i also want to show you this real quick It is currently the next day. I'm exhausted, honestly. Like, I'm tired, but that was so worth it. Like, you don't even understand. That was pretty darn epic. So, I didn't get to recap for yesterday. So, what happened was we were getting closer and closer in the line, and I asked my sister to record me while I was talking to him because, like, they took your phone one at a time before you went off to see him. So, I was like, obviously, I want that because. I knew we were gonna have a conversation and that was so awesome. He said that he loved everything and like he loved um, my shirt and he appreciates how I dress and everything. I was like, yeah. And like he kept talking to me. I was so happy. I was like, oh my God. And then I asked him to do like the battle stance and we did that. That was so cool. Like you don't even understand. I, I was mind blown. And then we went to, after we were finishing everything, I was still shaking. I didn't even know how to act. We went on another board because that Barnes & Noble has seven floors. And we had to go to the bathroom after that. So we went to the bathroom and then there was a security guard walking around and my sister saw his daughter and his son and his wife go upstairs. Um, but we had to use the bathroom, so that's why we went up there. And we saw them in the corner and we weren't sure whether to approach them or not. They looked like they were in a rush. So my sister was like, you wanna get a photo with her because she's in Cobra Kai too and it's Ralph's daughter. So I mean, I was like, yeah, I want a photo with her, but I don't know. But then it's a good thing we didn't approach them because they were literally like, they looked like they were in a rush going down the escalator. And I was like, when an opportunity like that knocks, you go for it. But at the same time, I didn't want to be like rude and bombard them. But there was a security guard walking around by them. So 
I don't know if you're allowed to because I didn't see anybody else going up to them. Maybe nobody else knew who they were. I don't know. But um, yeah, but at least she did make eye contact with my sister and I and she gave us a big smile and I smiled back at her. But they, they looked like they were in a rush um, because Ralph had to be out of there by 9 o'clock and it was like 8.35. So they were probably getting ready to leave. So I'm glad I didn't do that. But there's always a next time, honestly, because, you know, I mean... That was pretty exciting and then we got starbucks and that was really yummy and then we got some food after that we drove some food please got some food chicken over rice with some hot sauce and white sauce love that and then we ate that in the car and then we got home at like 12 something but yesterday was a dream like if you guys want to follow me on my social media i did post a lot of photos and videos stuff like that so that's how that went um we passed the Harry Potter store that I've always wanted to go to, but we did not have time to go there even though we got there early because let's be real, if I was going to the Harry Potter store, I wanted to be more prepared and stuff like that. So we didn't even stop in and there was no parking anyway, but it was empty, of course. I was like, are you kidding me? I could have went there, but we didn't. Then we passed the fashion school and then we passed NYU. That was all really exciting. Like, you don't even know. I'm dressed like this because I'm actually heading out with my siblings. Sabrina and I were supposed to go alone, um, but Sarah and Brian wants to tag along with us, so we're gonna go to Target real quick. I wanna get a Starbucks. I'm tired, and I just want some leisure, but yesterday was amazing. I can't stop talking about it. But I'm going to end this vlog here. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Are you guys a Karate Kid fan or a Ralph fan in general? Let me know down below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in my next vlog. Bye!